<clears throat> All right, hey guys. So we have a kind of a small turnout tonight. It is the first of August. Um, today starts the Team Cup. I'm sure you guys are on your own Team Cup teams, which is awesome. I'm not sure, you know, if you guys are captains or not. But you know, if you guys are captains of your team. Honestly, we're all captains. And when, it, when it comes to our beach buddy business, um, we should always have the attitude of being a captain and being a leader. Um, so make sure that your goals are set. Make sure you're constantly in contact with your team. This is a huge month for our business. So, you know, this is the time to really, you know, set momentum going. Next month is September. So people are going to start, you know, getting out of the summer mindset and like back into like, holy crap. You know, I, I exercise this summer, like it's time to get my shit together. So, you know, we're approaching that season. So the team cup is a very good time to transition to that. And also for yourself as well. It's, it's good to, um, you know, just be aware of what's going on. This is what people are thinking about right now. So when we come to like September, October, like November, all those months, this is like the hot time of our business, especially around Christmas time. And then, you know, then we have the New Year's resolution people, um, you know, it's very important. So just that's where we are right now. So the team cup is such an amazing way to build momentum back into your business and to actually get really serious. But you know, um, that's not what, what I'm talking about. You know, I'm going to make this quick. I'm not going to go really crazy tonight. Um, I kind of just wanted to talk about the proper, this is what I really want to say. I, I, want to, I want to teach you guys, you know, when it comes to doing team calls and like getting a message across, I think it's more important to speak to people outside of a realm of coaching. And, you know, I want this message to like reach out into your life. So I want to teach you guys how to be a winner at life and the correct attitude and the correct mindset and things that I've, you know, personally learned you know, yes, this does affect coaching, but you know, and obviously, you know, you guys know this is all cliche. Everything you're going to hear is probably things you already know, and that's fine. You know, if you if you, if you already know this, um, I'm just going to remind you, and you probably do know this already. And all the good stuff is cliche, <laughs> but I'm going I'm going to give it to you my own like personal spin, and I'm I'm a no bullshit kind of guy. But um, you know, it's 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 a huge problem where people, you know. I thought someone came on. Okay. The greatest problem and the greatest, you know, the death of success and, you know, anything. And the number one thing that is the, is the stopper in life that, re that just broadens out and touches every area, not just coaching, but the number one detriment, the number one. <laughs> by far and undisputably is having a negative attitude. If you have a negative attitude about everything in life, you're not going to get very far in coaching <laughs> and you're not going to get very far in life. And, you know, I know it's no surprise to any of you guys, but you have to really understand that, that the cornerstone of your success and the cornerstone of every achievement and, you know, how, as far as you're going to go, it really, it comes down to attitude. Last week we spoke about belief, but I think more importantly than belief is like your outlook on life and how you react to things and how you view things and how you view people and how you see yourself and others and your vision of the future, you know, would you say it's more inclined towards negative or more inclined towards positive? Do you have good expectations for your life? Do you have a, a positive outlook and a positive, like seriously, do you have a positive vision for your future? Like where do you honestly see yourself? in five years from now and where how do you react when like bad things happen to you what is your reaction so i'm going to give you a real story like right before i came on the call you know 
And personal development has helped me a lot and it, it taught me a lot. And this really happened to me, you know, like literally, um, again, 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 I'm at negative success of two points for this month. I had someone literally curse me out a few weeks ago because he, he said I was a horrible coach to him because I didn't check in on him. Um, and I think this is fair. I, you know, I run my business and I treat people as they treat me. You know, if you reach out to me, then I'm going to reach out to you. If you're going to meet me halfway, then I will meet you halfway. And, um, you know, he didn't, I guess he didn't understand that or respect that, or he didn't, obviously didn't respect me. And that's fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not, every, I'm not for everyone and that's okay. <laughs> and, you know, people are not going to be for you. You're not going to be for them. And there's nothing wrong with that. But this guy actually, you know, had the audacity to, he literally cursed me out. He cursed me out. He said some horrible things to me <laughs> for not checking in on him. And he had the worst attitude. And, um, you know, I dealt with it very, in a very calm manner, you know, but I dealt with that. It was, it was very discouraging. Very discouraging. It sucked. It was one of the, it was probably one of the worst moments I've ever had in coaching. Cause you know, the fact that he did that, like I've never had anyone like tell me I was a shitty coach and other things that he said to me, but like, I've never actually had someone like freak out on me and tell me all the things that he told me. And like, I, I was absolutely baffled and it made me like question my just everything about being a beach party coach like oh my god like what am i doing like is this my fault like he made me question myself i, I would never like experience that i never i never hit that like point i've never had anyone actually made me like like take a step back and go okay like, what's going on like right now, like this guy actually is cursing me out and telling me all these horrible things. Is this my fault? I, I, he made me feel horrible, like absolutely horrible. So I did. I apologize. I'm sorry. I did. I, 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 I try to handle it in a very professional manner. And he ended up unfriending me. He left my groups. Uh, he left my challenge group. Uh, he's gone. The guy's gone. I, I tried. I really did. I, I, I did what I could to help him, you know, just try. I tried, I tried to help the situation. It was unhelpful. But that's not my point. His order went through today as a return. I had a whole challenge back returned on me today. And I'm negative success club two points again. This is the third time this month that I'm negative success club two. Again. Great way to start out the month, right? It fucking sucks. It really does, honestly. But here's my point. I'm sorry. I don't know if you guys have kids listening. I'm, I'm sorry. I curse. This is what I do. Um, so I'm going I'm to try to not be so uh, you know, vulgar. But if I have to be vulgar, I'm going to. You know, if I have to get the point across, I'm going to curse. Um, here's the truth. What I've learned, I honestly don't care. I don't care that I'm negative successful two points. I really don't care. And this is because I learned that I have this self-confidence and I have this inner knowing from doing personal development and being here for almost four years. And I have such a good attitude about this business and such faith in myself that I saw the success club two points, the negative, and I was like, oh, wow, hmm, that's interesting. This, it was a negative $200 order, including the all access and Shakeology, gone. It's got to come out of my paycheck next week. And I said, oh, wow, oh, that's interesting. Okay, no problem, whatever. And that's my point. You have to get to that point. You have to have such thick skin and such faith in yourself that when you hit those moments, that it's just like a little bump. It just goes, oh, okay, whatever. You know, I also had, so, oh, I had someone uh, quit. They canceled the coaching account on me today too. I also had that. So I had a, had a great day. I had a great day. I had, I had someone quit on me and I had um, a, a return order. And I had someone quit me last week too. So that's two people in um, a week. I don't care. I honestly don't care. One, I blessed and released them. I let them go to the universe. I let them go to God. I say, you know, God, thank you. Thank you for bringing them to me. I'm so happy I had the opportunity to work with these people. This obviously wasn't for them. And it's fine. They can go work and they could do whatever they want to join another company and do whatever they want. I'm totally okay with that. And I'm okay. And I let it go. And I got this negative two successful points. And I said, okay, 
That's fine. I'm going to hit success for 15 this month anyway. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to, I'm going to succeed anyway. It doesn't matter. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's your attitude that counts. So when you have the right attitude, nothing matters. Even when shit fucking sucks badly. When you have someone that quit on you and you have returns. And you get to the point where you don't care because you know you're going to win. And I know I'm going to win. I'm at negative two again. This is the third month this year that I'm I'm negative two. By the way, I've hit over successful 10 points in every single month, including one month that I was actually negative three successful points because I had a customer lead that returned a challenge back on me. And that sucked too. I had nothing to do with that. But that very month I said, oh, you know, I was a little more affected by it because I've never been in the situation and I honestly had doubts. I said, I don't know if I'm going to make up these points. I have no idea. But you know what? I'm going to do my best. And I hit success club 15 that month with negative three success club points. So you know what? I have that faith in myself that I'm going to be okay. And I'm telling, I'm telling you guys right now, it's the first of the month. I will be at past success club 10 points. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. I have no fucking clue. I, have, I don't know who's going to buy challenge packs for me this month who's going to be a coach. I, I don't know. I literally, I have no idea. I have no idea. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. And that's it. Watch it. You guys are in team fight. All of you are in team fight. Watch me. Watch me hit the top of the leaderboards every month because I know I'm going to do it. It's, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be, seriously, I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm trying to show you that I have this confidence in myself that I know that I'm going to do it. I don't have a single doubt. That is the key. That's the key. That's like, the ma- seriously, it's the master key to success. Having a positive attitude and seriously believing in yourself. Like, seriously believing in yourself. I'm going to win. That's it. It's, it's already done. I've sent it out in the universe. I won. I'm, I'm at successful 20 this month. I did it already. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I really have no idea. But I'm going to do it. That's it. I don't give a shit how. <laughs> I don't know who's going to come to me, but I know that there'll be a few people that I'm going to reach out to them and they're going to say yes. And I'm going to have some people that I, you know, they're going to come to me and I'm going to reach out to them and I'm going to say yes instantly. And I know that's going to happen. I don't know who. I really don't. I swear to God, I, I'm clueless. I, ju- just as much as any of you guys are right. Maybe you guys have no idea how you're going to hit successful five this month. Maybe you guys don't know how you're going to pay your bills this month. I don't know. But I know I'm just going to do it. And I'm sure that you guys have, have been in situations in your life where you're like, you know, I literally don't know how I'm going to get out of this, but I'm sure you guys have made it through. It's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. But it's not just attitude. You, have to, you do have to work. You do have to put that effort forward. And, you, you know, if you don't want know what you're doing and coaching it and you don't know how to, like, make it happen, then you got you to gotta learn how to make it happen. You got to fucking make it happen. Seriously. It's the attitude combined with the work ethic, but most importantly, the attitude. The attitude comes first. And you need to understand that. It's the first ingredient. And I'm not saying be a fool and be optimistic. I'm saying be optimistic and take that shit and mix it with your fucking work ethic and make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to give shit up. I'm going to sacrifice to make it happen. I'm going to sit in some nights. I'm going to sit in on Friday nights. My friends are out. I'm 25 years old. And I'm going to sit home and I'm going to work. That's what I do. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm going to make some sacrifices. I'm watching Game of Thrones right now. I'm going to sacrifice my Game of Thrones time to make my goals happen and to get over my negative two successful points. I'm going to make that shit happen. And you got to have that attitude too. You have to. You have to. There's no, that's it. There's no other way about it. 
but you also have to have thick skin. You're going to face moments in your business where people are going to quit on you. Undisputably. You can't not make that. You can't not make it happen. You can't. People are going to return shit on you. That's never going to, ch- I, pr- I promise you, it's never going to change. I promise you, you're going to have p- coaches quit on you all the time. <laughs> it's going to happen. Do you know the shit that I deal with? You know what I've dealt with? You know the shit I'm going to deal with? It's going to be crazy in my life. I don't know, but I know that I'm going to have such adversity. I'm going to have crazy adversity. I'm, I have, I've climbed mountains, and I'm going to have to keep climbing mountains. And so are you. But I know I'm going to win. And that's it. <laughs> I'm going to fucking win. I'm going to win. I'm taking home the trophy. I'm going to be one of the top coaches in Beachbody. When? I don't know. Five years from now? Ten years from now? I have no idea. I don't know. I, I don't care. But I'm going to do it. That's it. I'm going to do it. Are you going to do it? I decided I'm going to do it. Do you, I, what, are you, what are you deciding for yourself right now? What do you want? What is your attitude? Check it. Check it. Check what you're thinking. It's that simple. Everything is attitude. When shit hits the fan, how you react to it is going to determine everything. And you're going to hit those walls. You have to get better. That's it. If you don't know how to coach, learn how to coach. If you don't know how to make challenge pack sales, I, I could recommend that you do coach basics training. It's very easy. And read the book, Go Pro by Eric Warren. If you haven't done either of those, you're making a huge mistake. You have to learn the skills. You have to. And you got to practice. It's okay to suck. You have to also, you know, you got to expect that you're going to suck in the beginning too. Sucking is okay. But make it, you know, you have to make an effort. You have to make an effort. If you sucked up until now, that's great. But suck, but make improvements while you're sucking, while you're learning how to get better. Don't like suck and then just keep on sucking without trying to make something different happen. You understand what I'm trying to say? Learn, train, read a book, listen to audios, listen to podcasts. If you need recommendations, I will, I will tell you. You know, I, I am a coach to you guys too. We're all on the same team here. We're all on the same team. All of us. If you need help, I'll help you out. I, I will treat you guys like I treat my personally sponsored people. I will. Because I love you guys. I care about you guys. You guys are my family. I, I consider Team Fight my family. I consider my team, the Legion of Fitness, they're my family. So I'll do what I can for you guys. But, you know, and also expect this. Expect this from your upline as well. You know, move towards your upline. If you need support... Don't just sit there and do nothing, you know, move towards them. Maybe they're waiting for you to do something. Maybe they're waiting for you to go, listen, I need help. And hopefully your upline is supportive, but reach out or make a post in the group. Like, man, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to do. Someone help me. Someone point me in the right direction because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Say it. Say something. If you need help, we are a support team. We're here together and we love you. We care about you. And I care about you guys, and I'll help you guys out. Like I'm, I'm investing, my, I'm investing my time in you guys right now. You know, like obviously I care, <laughs> but do something. You know, that's that's my point. And treat this like a business. Treat your business like a business, and treat yourself like a business business owner. Be a leader. Like treat yourself like a leader, and see yourself as a leader. Don't see yourself as a follower and a part of a team. See yourself as a leader of the team. See yourself as a driving force. See yourself like, okay, I got to make this happen. See yourself as someone that has responsibility. Look, when, when, like for me, like when Keith, you know, he couldn't make the call today and I could have said like, whatever, I'm going to hang out by the pool right now. I'm going to go drink beers and I'm going to go party and do whatever. I could have, I could have done that. That's what I was doing today. That is what, that is what I was doing today. That is what I was doing today. I was at my friend's pool. It's my day off. 
And I didn't want to do this. I mean, of course I do, but I, w- I would r- have rather stayed by the pool today. I've, that's what I wanted to do. But I'm a leader. You see, I view myself as a leader. And I know that you guys need me. And I know Keith needs me. And I stepped up. I could have easily not done this. But this is, this, 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 this is my point. This is my, this is my, it's my work ethic. You have to be the same way. It doesn't cost money to have good work ethic. You could just do it for free. It's just who you are. Kick ass, man. Just have that attitude. That's it. Have a kick ass attitude. Go out, go out of the gates. Go out of this team call tonight and let it be the last time. Like, seriously, let this moment, from this moment on, you really, really got to make a decision. Like, for real. I'm going to be a different person. Like, for real. For real. For real. Commit to listening and getting on a personal development book. Read that shit every day. If you haven't done coach basics training, do it. Seriously do it. And decide you're going to win no matter what. And so what? You don't hit success cup this month? Whatever. You get a few points, whatever. But make it as... Meet yourself where you're at. Just know that you're going to do this. And work towards making it happen. That's it. I mean, I think a two-year-old can understand that. Really, I don't... That's honestly it. That's honestly really it. That's how you win in life. That's how you win in life. It's that simple. Just know you're going to do it. And develop the skills like necessary in order to do the things you want to do. Like if you want to succeed in this business, learn how to do it. Like make the time, take responsibility for everything. Take this, this attitude and just make it stretch out for your life. You have to have a positive attitude. This will affect everything in your life. Just this little change in mindset. Knowing that you're going to win, no matter what you do in life, and knowing that everything is going to be okay. Like, really understanding that, knowing that. You can apply that to everything in your life. But first, you've got to master it where it counts. So just get involved and just do what you got to do. And don't make that decision from this like, moment forward that you're going to be different. Just make that decision. And know, know that you can win. Because you can you can. Everyone here is a winner. Everyone here is a winner. Everyone here is a winner. But if you don't believe you are, then you are not. As cliche as that sounds, it's really true. Because if you can't see yourself winning and you can't see yourself succeeding and you're constantly, constantly doubting yourself, you, you aren't going to win. You're not. You're going to have a lot of problems. And you gotta learn how to get over that. You gotta to toughen up and you gotta learn the skills that it takes to win. All right. I think, honestly, I think I said enough. Guys, I really, seriously, thank you for coming on. Like, I really, I appreciate it. These mean a lot to me and I really, I want this to have affected you. I want you guys to, you know, I, I want this message to seep in. It's important. It's so important because it's, it's such a huge problem. Such a huge problem. If, you know, if everything starts with your attitude, everything. So just fix it and work at fixing it and reach out. If you, please, if you need help, there's too much silence. You know, it doesn't have to be that way. You know, we're a team. You have support. You're not alone. But no one is going to do this for you. You have to do this for you. We can help you. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. Like, seriously, it's up to you. And that's, that's never going to change. So um, just reach out, be, be a part of the team, and be a leader. Guys, thank you so much. I love you guys. Seriously, I'm so happy you guys are on here tonight. Um, I, I, didn't, I, I really wanted to go out and party tonight. I really did. But I decided to, to do this to you guys. So I'm going to put this recording up. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing every single, like a team call every single Tuesday. Um, 
no, I'm very happy we're back. We're gonna we're gonna make this work, and you know we're gonna we're gonna pick up momentum. Listen, and don't let people you know kid you. Don't listen to anyone from other companies. If if you're following people in the, the, the stupid wine bullshit, just unfollow them. You know they're honestly they're a bunch of assholes. Like honestly, they are. Beachbody is not going anywhere. We're still an amazing company. Yeah, our team did take a hit. Yes, we did. Beachbody took a hit. We did. We lost a lot of leaders and. It's not unusual, you know. This is the, it's it's a trend in, in multi-level marketing. This it, this just happens, you know. I do. A, oh, I got the friggin' ten minute warning. All right, it's ending in two minutes anyway. Um, <clears throat> what has happened with Beachbody happens to companies throughout the decades. I've I've listened to a lot of podcasts. I listen to this podcast religiously. It's called MLM Nation, and I hear people who have been like in network marketing since like the eighties, like seriously, since like the eighties, and. Do you understand like how like often like multi-level marketing companies like nothing like Beachbody, but, like companies that are lesser than us, like much lesser than us, they get attacked by the media and they get attacked by like work. This shit is always happening. This is like a trend. It just it happens. It happens. Companies come up and they poach people and they come along and then it just so happened that Beachbody was a victim of something like of coaching, like a gigantic, massive movement of people just going from here to something else. And it, it, it's a trend. There's nothing wrong with Beachbody. There's absolutely nothing wrong. In fact, I still believe that we're still number one. I really do, honestly. Don't listen to negative assholes. If you have negative assholes on the fucking MLL, the, the, the wine company, unfollow them and stop friending them. And don't let people, seriously, they're assholes. Don't let them poach you and don't like let them put that thought in your brain that what we're doing is wrong. and that. Coaching doesn't work. They're, they're honestly just assholes. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much. Okay, I said enough. I'm, I'm getting the warning right now. I'm going to put the recording up. And I'm also, final note, I, I record, I, I take all the audios from the, the, these videos and I put them on my Google Drive. I have audio recording. So if you need to listen to team calls, every, whether it's me, Keith, whatever, I'm, I have a collection of the audios. So I have a team call folder. So just know that. So, you know, I'm an audio learner. I like to listen to things. I don't, I don't sit down and watch videos. I just don't. I listen to audios. So um, you, could, you have the option to like download the audios and I'm, I'm going to make that possible for you guys. So the, there's a Google Drive link. I'm going to give you guys a link. I posted the other day. I'm going to repost it obviously so you guys can save it. But there's a specific folder for team calls and this audio will be in there and every single team call from now on to come. So you can share this with your team. You can use it for your own leisure or whatever. But um, yeah, just keep showing up every week, guys. It really means a lot. Make time for your business. Tuesday is team call time. We have to connect with each other. We have to. It's so important that we get real and human with each other and we connect and we talk and we just get shit off of our mind. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, someone taking you to church like me just giving you the know-how. You know, I would like to see some of you guys, you know, step up. It's not hard to just talk. Just if you guys have questions, maybe they'd be like an open discussion. You know, it, I, I don't want it to be me and Keith. We're a team, you know, like we should be sharing together and we should have a community and we should make this a thing. We should make this an open like thing. We should have people talk every week and share what's working for them and have ideas and whatever it is. So I think that'd be very helpful, but make time every week, Tuesdays, nine o'clock Eastern time. This is the time. Thank you guys. Have an amazing night. I love you all. Thank you so much for coming on. It means everything to me that you invested your time with me today. So have a good night guys.